Denmark, the hosts, back in action on day three of the Handball European Championships. Austria, the opposition, in front of 14,000 in Herning. Group B is all about Spain. They were taken right down to the wire by Norway. Hungary and Iceland served up a thriller on a day of two draws. And we preview France's second match against Poland, a place in the main round the aim. Day three has seen two sides book their place through already. We start, though, with another rip-roaring atmosphere in Herning, the boxing arena for Denmark's second outing in Group A following Sunday's win over Macedonia. Another two points here, and the Danes would be through. Denmark in white here. Rene Toft establishing an early lead, but Austria were never far behind. Victor Zilagi... Mortensen and Landin with the misunderstanding. Janko Bozovic, penalty, made it 6-4, 17-12, though, in Denmark's favour by the 30-minute mark. And an 18-12 lead at the break. Mads Larsen for 19-13, 16, thanks to Mikkel Hansen, who was extraordinary. 90% shot efficiency, 10 shots, 9 goals. He was the top scorer. Denmark ended with 33 here. Jesper Nerdesbu with a penalty. Did his bit. Nerdesbu, five goals for him. 29-24 it was. And Richard Voss pulled another back for the Austrians. Seven from time. But Mikkel Hansen would round the victory off with his ninth goal. Fantastic performance again from the Danes. 33-29 through to the main round. Minimum requirement, really. Denmark played two, one, two at home. Macedonia and the Czech Republic had both lost their opening matches, so push had come to shove, really, in this section. Macedonia out of the box quicker. Rostovsky setting up Mikulovsky to be an early scorer from 6-3 down. The Czechs it back to Jan Stelik. And a further goal from Fili Jich just before half-time enabled the Czechs to go in 11-10 up. At the break, well, Kirill Lazarov had hit Macedonia's three goals at the start. The legendary Barcelona playmaker struck six successive at the start of the second half. From 11 all, it was up to 16-14 in Macedonia's favour, thanks to the top scorer two years ago in Serbia. Extraordinary scoring feats. With three quarters of the match gone, it was 17 all. Mario Hurak struck a quick fire treble for 20 all. Seventh goal of the match from Horvath would make it 22 all. Five to play. But then what about this flashpoint? Of all people to miss a penalty for Macedonia, it would be Kirill Lazarov. Great block though by Peter Stokel. Just nothing to choose between these two. But then Philip Yika, what a chance he would have to win it. Not taken. 24 all, inevitable disappointment at the end of this one. But the avoidance of defeat still affords the chance of a place in the main round. So Denmark played two, one, two, four points. Austria next up. It's the Danes who are safely through to the second round group stage, the main round.
and the defending champions, the Danes, end their Group A campaign on Thursday against the Czech Republic, Austria, looking to book their place in the main round against Macedonia. Spain up against Norway here, the world champion Spain. Nip and tuck at the start of Galde and Thomas. Cancelled out by Mirhol and Reinkind. Scoring for the Norwegians, never made the semi-finals of this championship, Norway. The Spanish three-time runners-up. Spain would eventually run out winners, but it was no surefire thing. Vitor Tomas, but then Pieter Mirhol brought it back to 7-5. But then Spain, so versatile, so deft in the attack. Jump shot provided by Coan Canellas. 12-8. Counter-attacking goal came from Norway. Finished off by Stefan Berg, Luckerboot. From nine metres then it was Raul Interios. Tonneson, Bjornsson and Hansen three in succession thereafter for Norway. Bjornsson with the penalty. And Norway were dreaming about an upset. Espen Lee Hansen, nine metres out. And then Kaneas for 22 all. Well, Norway were 22 20 up with 10 to play here. Kaneas Agalde. And that would finally edge Spain over the line here. 27. 25. Bronze medalist from four years ago, Iceland up against Hungary here. Thrilling action we've had on the third day from Denmark. Hungary beaten by Spain in the rope ahead early through Gabor Anshin, who was excellent. Anshin again for 10-6. Seven goals, he was excellent. Hungarians forcing Iceland to drag themselves up by the bootstraps. Runa Karasen, 22nd minute. Jump shot here for 17 all from the outstanding Karrison. Then it will be Bjarki Mar Gunnarsson. Eight minutes into the second half, six metre line goal after a fine move. 18 17 Iceland. 2017. Thanks to Gujon Valer Sigurdsson. But Hungary just wouldn't give it up. That man, Ivancic again for 21 all. What a finish, flip finish, cutting in from the left. And then Chabot Shubai for the lead with 10 to play for Hungary. The back came Iceland. Runa Karasen. But look at the watch, 11 seconds left. Marta Lekai for 27 all. So Iceland, Spain will decide who wins Group B on Thursday and how many points both teams will take to Hernig. Norway remain on the bottom of the pile here, still waiting for their first point. World well, champion Spain round off against Iceland then. Winner takes all, Hungary and Norway still scrapping for a place in that coveted main round.
France got off to a flyer with an opening win over Russia on Monday. No nerves this time after the failure to make the semi two years ago. Wednesday at the Energy Arena in Aarhus and France will play their second Group C match against Poland. But without a point having agonizingly been beaten by just a point in their first match against Serbia. They've lost all three of their previous encounters with the French at the Euro. You know against who we were going to play the next game. So this is France. This, they, they win everything. So this is a hard situation. And it's not, right now it's going to be much harder. Poland aren't amongst the favourites this year, but as hosts of the next edition of the Euro in 2016, they're determined to equip themselves well. We had two games, so we cannot think in this way. We have to go out on the court and play our best handball possible. So. I hope we can do this. Backcourt player Nikola Karabatic was excellent in the win over Russia. The Barcelona man was part of the 2012 Olympic gold medal winning squad. The strength of Poland is their defence. They have good attacking players too, good shooters. We want to impose our rhythm and we hope we'll win the game. In Innsbruck in the 2010 tournament, France won by five in a main round matchup. But the Poles did go on to finish fourth. Poland are a very good European team that have won good titles. We know the players well. We know that after they lost against Serbia, they will be even more dangerous. France look to be back to their best. The Olympic champions putting the bad memory of Serbia 2012 behind them. So far at least. So second round of matches in Group C. See the French face Poland and Russia against Serbia. Russia having beat, beaten by the French in the opening match. Desperately need to get off the mark with a win. And Group D will see Montenegro face Croatia and Sweden take on Belarus. Sweden in the box seat in this section. Croatia dangerous too. Top goal from the third day of the European Handball Championships. Fitting one. The spin, the subtlety of Mikkel Hansen. That's all for now. See you again tomorrow for more action from Denmark.